Fall Guys is an amazing game that everyone now is playing. It is just taking everyone and, <laughs> well, the games that they used to play, they've forgotten about them because it seems like this is what everyone is playing right now. So I thought I might take uh, this instant to teach not only the noobs, but the pros on how to get good at the game, like just the strats you might use for certain maps, and uh, this is going to be a multiple installment series for me, which includes pretty much every map in the game. Today's episode is going to be in this order, so pay attention if you just want one of the maps. Tiptoe, Whirligig, and Dizzy Heights. Those are the three maps, and I'm going to be going over them in detail on any strats to make it faster for you or how to not die and in this case tiptoe and lots of other just strats that are going to be useful in qualifying or making a huge comeback so that you don't disqualify tiptoe is a map that many people despise for its seemingly rng like factors and yes it is almost total rng but i'm here to tell you some things that will make it less RNG if that makes sense any tips that will help you pretty much not get bumped off and die at the last second on this map because we all know that's how 90% of players die on this map so my first tip for you is don't be the one who discovers the path by which I mean stay like further back let the other people go ahead unlike I'm doing here don't look at the gameplay guys because it will mislead you like I should have let this horse discover the path instead I did let him discover it but it was too late because I was already going for it and I fell off the map so just let the other people do the finding and you do the waiting my second tip that I have for you is to always stay one block behind the majority of people so basically there's always one giant clump of people in front and you want to stay one block behind that like I'm marking here with my arrow there's just one extra block that basically no one's on and I gotta say some is free real estate if you stay in the giant horde of people you're probably gonna get knocked off just because of the pure chaos but if you're one block behind that it almost thirds the chance that you'll actually get bumped off now this doesn't make it zero so just be careful on tiptoe guys on to the next one which is whirly gig it's it's a relatively easy map to play not many people know how to play it however which is what makes it easy so i'm here to ruin every professional dream of like never losing on whirly gig because i'm gonna i'm gonna teach the noobs how to play it so when you're running down the original ramp you want to always go to the left in the far left like the pink side i didn't get a very good boost but like those pink outer circles are what you want to go on to get the furthest boost on to the next tip this is a very big one when you're going up that yellow ramp you want to jump in then dive up there as you're gaining momentum now for the this part is relatively simple you just have to go right in between the two windmills as you saw there it makes it impossible to get hit by them i'm not going to explain this jump because it's it's self-explanatory now a lot of people used to say going mid is risky, but it's not, except for there, apparently, because I die, and you'll see in a second, I die again. Uh, if you're good at the strat, you can get 100% of the time, but I'm just, I'm not good at the strat, so uh, basically, you just have to time a good dive right as you're going under the windmill, because it will hit you and basically nullify all of the knockback that you'll get from the initial blow of the windmill. The final tip I have for you on this map is kind of complex, but basically, instead of jumping onto the windmill, when you see this spinning thing come around and hit you, if the windmill's open, you can go to the exact spot my arrow was pointing, and it will always hit you up to the finish line. Next one. Now, it's Dizzy Heights. So this one is a relatively easy and simple map, but I'm just showing it to you because there are some strats to go faster. I'm just going to let this whole clip play in slow-mo because there's a certain path at the start that's just fastest and I'm marking it. There is an alternate route which is my arrow right about now. There we go. 
and it's going to be an alternate route but it leads to the same spot and I'm pretty sure it's a little slower but the route I take myself is the fastest route for the start and it puts me in second place right off the bat so I'm just gonna not really say anything about the balls here but you do want to try to lean towards the right side if possible sometimes it will make it slower if you do so don't always do it but the right side for this section of the course is indeed fastest and <laughs> once you're done with that you basically have it all together you're gonna be fine home free except for me I die there a lot for some reason but you just jump dive onto this next section make sure not to get hit by balls if you don't want to ragdoll on this spinny thing because sometimes you do diving will make it so you don't really ragdoll and then you want to go on the right side up to the course thanks for watching guys this is just one more thing I had to say after the video make sure to like and subscribe and also turn on notifications if you want to see more content like this if you don't feel free to let me know on the con and the comments what I did wrong what I should do better in the future I know I'm not very good at the commentary I stutter a lot that's something I still need to get better at but I assure you I will get better at it because I I care about you guys and I want to do some good things for you on YouTube hopefully the better I do on YouTube the better I can make your day so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this taught you something and I will see you in the next one peace out